Okay, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're talking about technical insight. We're talking about population. David, and welcome. Where, and where are we? We're in lovely Bondi Beach. Bondi Beach behind us, backpackers everywhere, sun's out. It's fantastic, fantastic isn't it? Fantastic day, brilliant yeah. day. So David, break down population growth, break it down for me, go through in detail in terms of what it means. Well, population is the um, demand in the supply and demand uh, uh, dynamic when we're talking about property. So it's 50% of the game, it's very important. Um, and there's, there's a number of things you need to know about population. The first thing is that everyone quotes a population headline rate, which at the moment, Phil, is what? You tell me. National average is 1.5%. 1.5, I think it's 1.6 actually. I think it's 1.5. We'll see. Check, <laughs> check it from the ABS when you're watching this video. But um, everyone looks at that and then says, okay, well that, you know, that, that's what we should be looking at. When in fact, I think the more important figures are the breakdown of population, Correct. Phil. So do you want to go through that for me? Yeah, so the, there's three types of population growth. One is um, people having babies, which we love. Um, what, what's that called? The technical term? Sex, mate. <laughs> but um, the, the people having babies, and then there's the overseas migrants yes. coming in, and then there's interstate migration. Yes. Now, overseas migrants are arguably the best form of population because they come with families, with money, needing instant accommodation. Right. International or oh, inter interstate migrants, they also come with money and typically with jobs, that's why they're moving. So they're the second best form. And the third best form is population uh, from new, new births or natural births. So over for the overseas migrants, yep. where are they coming in of all the capital cities around Australia? So at the moment, they're, um, they're coming in mainly to Melbourne and Sydney. They're, they're, they're getting the lion's share of the, uh, the overseas migrants, but they're also coming in everywhere. They're coming in Adelaide and Perth and, and Brisbane, just probably not in the same volume. Fantastic. So, yeah, so I think the other, the other thing to, to touch on there is when you're looking at population growth, and you might be looking in, say, Brisbane, and you might say, well, the population in Brisbane at the moment is 1.8, and that's really strong. But the thing is, the, the most dominant form of population uh, type in Brisbane is natural births. Yep. And of course, they don't take, they don't need instant accommodation. They need it maybe in five or 10 years' time. Whereas if you look at Sydney, the most dominant form of population is overseas migrants. Overseas migration, yep. But the population growth rate is roughly the same. But the way that you should interpret that is uh, the Sydney growth is much stronger and will hit demand much harder than, say, Brisbane. And I think that's the important takeaway from today. Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks, David. Thanks, Bill.